This is AS Pure Notes. We have just started Unit 5, which is coordinate geometry. Uh, and so we're taking a wee look there at the equation of a straight line in the form y equals mx plus c. So y equals mx plus c is a general Cartesian equation of a straight line. All straight lines have equations that can be written in this form, where m is the gradient and c is the point where the straight line intercepts the y-axis. You would have covered most of this in GCSE anyway. Find the gradient and y-intercept for this equation 2y plus 5x minus 3 equals 0. Put the equation into the form y equals mx plus c. So first of all, I would want to rearrange it. And we go 2y equals minus 5x plus 3. Hope you see what I've done there. I've taken these two things in over to the other side. Now dividing both sides by 2. I get y equals minus 5 over 2x plus 3 over 2. That means my gradient m is equal to minus 5 over 2 and it means that c then where it crosses um, the y-axis is going to be then at the point 3 over 2. If you want that as a coordinate it would be 0, 3 over 2. On the next page then, the equation of a line in the form y minus y1 equals m upon x minus x1. Yes, this is a different form of y equals mx plus c, and sometimes it's actually more convenient to use this one. It just makes life a wee bit easier. But you can use either if you're trying to find the equation of a straight line. This method is used if you're given the gradient on one point on the line. Consider a line gradient m passing through the point x1, y1. Let p be another point on the line. The gradient then would be, let's move this up slightly so you can see it, it's going to be the difference in the y coordinate. So the y coordinate of this one is y, the y coordinate of this one is y1, so this distance is y minus y1. Uh, x coordinates then, similarly x minus x1. If we multiply through by our bottom line, we get m upon x minus x1 is y minus y1 and then just as we've said above this gives an alternative form for the equation of a line is y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. Find the equation of the line with gradient 4 which passes through the point 3 minus 7. So we're actually going to use this one here. Of course you can use y equals mx plus c. There's no problem with that. It's going to be y equals 4x plus c. Sub those in then to get your c. That's totally fine. It's just showing that this will work as well. So we know her m in this case is 4. We know our x1 is 3, and we know our y1 then is minus 7. So just substituting it into this, we're going to get y minus minus 7 equals 4 upon x minus 3. That gives me y plus 7 equals 4x minus 12. And rearranging then obviously gives us y equals 4x minus 19. Example 2 then, find the equation of a line which goes through the points minus 4, 3 and 2, 15. So we have two coordinates here and if we know two points on the line we can work out the gradient. If so our line looks like this, we have this point here, this point here, find the difference in the y coordinates, find the difference in the x coordinates because they're gradient. If we know a gradient on the point on the line, we can find the equation of a line. So our gradient is going to be y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. y2 will take to be 15, then take away 3. And then 2 minus minus 4. So that's going to be 12 over 6. And our gradient then in this case is 2. 
Uh, so substituting then into y minus y1 equals m upon x minus x1. Just pick one of the two points, either is good. I'm just going to pick the first one here. So we know the y coordinate here then is 3. So it's y minus 3 equals 2 upon x minus minus 4. y minus 3 equals 2 upon x plus 4. y minus 3 equals 2x plus 8. And rearranging then gives us y equals 2x plus 11. Again, just to reiterate at this point here, once you've worked out your gradient, you can, of course, just sub into y equals mx plus c um, and with those points or this point here, and it will get you the same answer.